Good afternoon guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan, this is Auto Detour, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over the current short-term and long-term plans for Gramps. Uh, you heard that right, the build's not over, so I hope you guys and your families are all doing well during this time. I can't specifically name what's going on because uh, YouTube is demonetizing and blocking channels that are talking about the specific global thing that's going on right now. But I hope you guys are doing well. I know a lot of people are hurting right now and you know I'm I'm fortunate enough to, that my the company that I work for is considered essential even though there are so many small businesses uh, that are so essential to this economy. So I, my heart goes out to all the small businesses and employees of those businesses. Uh, because of that, I thought that'd be a great time to start putting out a little bit more content a little bit more often so that you guys have something to something to watch while we're all while we all kind of have this downtime where we're supposed to be staying home and keeping others healthy and spending time with our families. So so like I mentioned, we're gonna be talking about Gramps today. If you are new to my channel, this is my 2003 Ford F-150. Has the stock 5.4 liter in it, stock transmission. We have a 76 millimeter turbo. Dynode 407 of the wheels at 8.8 .8 PSI. Right now I have boost cut set at 10 PSI, so I don't know what kind of horsepower numbers we're putting down now, but it's more than we were dynoing before. So the topic for today's video, of course, is the short-term long and long-term plans for Gramps. I put up a poll on the channel that many of you guys responded to, and this is the video you wanted to see. So uh, be sure you watch out for those polls uh, and you're subscribed to the channel so you can see them. Thank you guys for participating in those. That helps me kind of figure out what you guys wanna see and prioritize my videos to make sure I'm creating content that you guys are interested in. Let's start off by talking about the short-term goals. Um, obviously, we want to be able to finish up the exhaust, uh, which Eric is going to be helping me finish uh, here shortly. If you want to check out all the information I went over on the exhaust video, that's kind of priority number one for me right now because it is very loud driving the truck. I realize it doesn't sound like it in the videos because the drone of the truck actually kind of just cancels out the microphone. The microphone is trying to use its noise canceling uh functions or whatever it whatever it does and it, it makes it sound pretty quiet in the truck but it's actually really loud and pretty obnoxious when cruising down the freeway that's one thing the other thing is uh i asked you guys to mention whether or not we should put line locks on the truck in a past video so and the response was an overwhelming yes so line locks are on order. We will be doing a video on installing line locks on Gramps. So if this build ever gets crazy enough to actually need line locks to warm up some sticky tires, uh, it'll be on there. But it'll also be fun to use them for just some huge burnouts, of course. Now stay tuned for that. That should be a lot of fun. So now, I don't know if you guys noticed, but my workbench and floor are looking pretty stinking clean. Uh, I spent a lot of time getting that cleaned up. I pointed it out in past videos. Uh, the mess from the build really got out of hand. So finally got this cleared up. Uh, got a few more things hung and I've always wanted a garage fridge. And, and there it is finally. I mean, it's empty, but there it is. Hopefully this is a little more attractive backdrop for you guys <laughs> than my giant mess. Let's talk about the long-term plans for, for the truck. So, I've made reference to it in past videos a little bit. So the plan is to run the stock motor for now, have some fun with it. You know, it's making plenty of power to be a lot of fun and it's still a lot of fun. But what inevitably happens with any build is uh, you always want more power, let's be honest. So we're gonna run this one. In the meantime, I will be looking for another 5.4 block that I can build looking to do a build series on the channel. I've never built a motor before, never turbocharged a truck before, but it's really something I wanna learn. It's really the next step in order to turn up the boost on Gramps. As silly as he is now, he's gonna be a lot more ridiculous once we see 14, 15, 16 PSI. And then of course, the immediate question is, what do you do for the transmission? 
because uh, the stock transits in there isn't going to hold that kind of power. So then, of course, we move on to, uh, you know, beefing up the transmission, getting a built trans in there, something that can handle that kind of power. Uh, my plan still is to keep Gramps uh, completely stock looking. <laughs> That's really the fun part for me. He is four wheel drive. So we can, uh, once we beef up the drivetrain and we are putting down a lot more power, it'll be a lot of fun to utilize that four wheel drive system. That way we can keep stock tires um, and still get traction. If any of you guys that are local know of any place to source uh, a relatively cheap motor that I can build on the side, I am open to suggestions. Uh, so we wanna get a an all forged rotating assembly in there. We're gonna do forged, uh, we'll do connecting rods, pistons, you know, heads, probably do cams. Not that you really need to on these modular motors, but I want to, cause <laughs> they sound awesome. Leave a comment down below if, if a motor build for Gramps on the side would be interesting for you guys to watch. Uh, I'm gonna do it either way, but uh, that'll kind of help me figure out how much of it to document and, and how much detail to go in. I went into a bunch of detail on the build for Gramps here in his current state and maybe another build series on the motor and trans. Uh, just let me know what you guys think. So uh, that's kind of that's kind of where Gramps is headed. I did figure out, so if you can see under here, uh, it's a little dark, but there's a big puddle. I did figure out where that is coming from. So we'll be going over that in the next video and uh, getting that fixed up so that uh, Gramps isn't peeing all over the floor anymore. Be sure to leave some feedback what you guys think of these simpler videos, just kind of having conversations while, while we're all kind of stuck at home. Do you want to see more of this? Do you want me to upload more often and kind of just do stuff like this where we, we talk about what's going on, simplify the videos just a little bit so I can produce more of them more frequently for you guys. Uh, let me know if that sounds good. Just so this whole video isn't entirely of me talking, let's hop into Gramps, fire him up, and maybe just take him for a quick cruise around the neighborhood uh, in my uh, quarantine capsule. <laughs> so let's hop in Gramps. <laughs> out in the sun so clean it just gets me every time you don't see you don't see whoa easy there gramps you don't see 10th gens this really this clean anymore so all right let's hop in the truck ah i just cannot get enough of the blow off valve <laughs> So as I mentioned in the garage, uh, I did adjust the boost controller, the boost cutoff to 10 PSI. Now we haven't hit that yet. He's already pretty crazy at, at 9 PSI, 9.5 PSI. Uh, it'll be fun to see what he can do at over 10. Alright, let's give it the beans. guys well we are back home in the garage now what a super fun truck I mean I, I have to adventure to say that I might have more fun in Gramps than I do in the Viper just because it just does things it's not supposed to do uh, and it looks completely stock just puts a smile on my face every time to hear those turbo noises coming out from under the hood of this thing so be sure to stay tuned for the next video we're gonna be addressing that leak uh, we found on Gramps Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate all of you. Be safe, stay healthy, 
stay sane, have a great night. I'll talk to you guys next time.